Hi booktube, Lynette here and in this week's video I am going to tell you about the books that I plan to read in the month of April. Uh, I want to start off and apologise if there is some background noise in this video. Um, as you know I film in my bedroom and it's at the back of the flat and the gardens are at the back and I think my neighbour's doing some work so I do apologise. Um, I have tried to wait um, but I need to get on and film it so I'm sorry if you get some additional noise. Um, so like I said, this week's video is all about the books that I plan to read in April. Uh, so as in the last three months, I'm going to have two books that are set by my um, ongoing commitments that I have. So there's the in-depth read-along and there is the book club that I belong to, just one more page. And then I'm going to do some wheel spins as well to pick the rest of the month's TBR. So first off is the in-depth book for the month and this is um, no different to all the previous months if you've been following my TBRs and wrap-ups. This is a series of novels by an author called JD Robb and she writes about a character called Eve Dallas who is a homicide detective in, in 2050s New York. And in this book, again, she's going to have what sounds like a series of murders to be solved. And there'll be some progression in her personal life with her relationships and friendships. So, again, I'm, I'm not really going to say any more than that because I think I've said it all in the past um, 15 months. Really enjoy these books every time I read them. So I'm looking forward to picking this up at the start of April. The second read of the month is going to be the pick for the book club I belong to, Just One More Page. This book club is run by Jess McGlynn on YouTube. She is at Jess McGlynn. And on the Instagram page, um, it's Just One More Page. I will try and leave the links in the information box down below for you if you're interested in joining us. This month we've picked a suspense novel and that is The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. And this is about a woman, Alicia Berenson, who five years previous to the setting of the book shot her husband. And no one knows why, because she hasn't spoken since. And I believe we're going to follow the uh, point of view of the psychiatrist um, slash doctor who is going to try and figure out and get her to talk about it. It sounds really quite interesting. It wasn't my pick for the month, but um, I was interested in all four. So I am looking forward to reading it. Uh, there isn't really much more um, in the uh, synopsis on Good on um, Amazon. There's a bit more on Goodreads, but because it's suspense, I want to go into it fairly blind and not knowing what to expect. So I, I haven't really looked into it much more than that. So I'm looking forward to picking this up, hopefully fairly early in April. So now I'm going to run the wheel spins for the month. If you've watched my previous couple of TBRs, then you'll know that I have loaded all of my unread books on my Kindle and on my physical shelves into um, a randomizer wheel. And I run that uh, to pick a couple of selections every month. The last three months I've done two selections, but this month I've decided I'm going to trade up a little bit because I've had three really great reading months, to be perfectly honest with you. I thought that I would actually increase the number of spins and I'm going to go for, it's not by much, I'm going to go for three spins in the month of April and see how I get on. So let's see what the first spin has thrown out for me this month. So the wheel has been kind to me and the first spin has spun out a romance novel and that is Breathless by Eve Carter. Um, like I said, this is a romance novel. It's in the new adult genre. It's about a young man called Jesse who's a motocross rider and quite a successful motocross rider but he's currently out injured and he's getting himself into bother with women, sex and booze and drugs. And he decides to relocate to California to recuperate and try and mend his ways. And there he meets a young woman called Nikki, who has her own issues and demons to fight. Um, uh, but Jesse is determined that she is the one that he wants and he goes after her all out. I don't know anything more than that. 
and like I say it's a romance novel so I'm not expecting it to be much of a challenge I really do enjoy romance um, so this should be a great pick for me and hopefully if the rest of the spins are bad it will give me um, a good start to the month so let's go on to the second spin Okay, so spin number two has been kind to me as well and it's thrown out another romance novel and at this time it is, um, I don't think it's sci-fi but it's um, it's not entirely human uh, so I think it's more along the supernatural line um, but it's a romance novel um, so I'm doing really quite well this month. This book is called uh, Royal Obsession and it's by an author called Cindy Freiberg. I've never read any of her novels before it looks like this book is also the first in a series and it's the Shadow Assassin series. This book we're going to follow the head of the Shadow Assassins, Varric, and apparently the Shadow Assassins are an underground um, group of people or an underground race. They don't come out into the, the regular world. Uh, and so it turns out that actually Varric, it's his turn to breed and it's his time to breed. So he has decided that because his people are dying out, that he needs to breed with the highest person he can. And that is the daughter of the queen. And so he decides to kidnap the royal twins. They're both female. The younger of the twins, Echo, uh, decides that actually her older sister is not up to the task of meeting the demands and needs of Varric. So she sets about trying to seduce him for herself. And along the way, they fall in love. Um, it's not my usual. I don't tend to go towards kind of alien. I, I, I don't mind paranormal um, romances, but I don't tend to go towards the alien kind of like different species type books. Um, I have a couple of authors whose books like that that I really really enjoy. Um, so this will actually decide whether this is the sort of novel that I enjoy reading um, and if I want to enjoy more. Like I say it's the start of a series so uh, it could lead on to more books by this author. Okay so let's go on to the third and final spin for the month. So spin number three has been kind to me as well and it's thrown out another romance novel. This time it's Not Quite Terran by Celia Kyle. And I've read Celia Kyle before, I've read a couple of her shifter novels. This though is an alien based novel instead. I've not, again, um, like Royal Obsession, um, I haven't read a lot of alien based romances so it will be interesting to me to see whether this really is a, a trope that I quite enjoy um, in, in the romance field. So this book is about Rebecca, who is an officer on Terra, um, who has to keep out unsanctioned aliens. And her, the male protagonist that we're going to follow is Karu, and he's an unsanctioned alien, and he ends up in a cell on Terra. And they are brought together because of that, and there's a whole issue surrounding Karu's race and his people and they have to figure things out together. That's pretty much all I can pick up from the synopsis. Um, but again, it's a romance novel. It's not going to be really long. So I'm actually really quite looking forward to it. So I've had a really good set of spins this month. Um, so I have five books. Four of them are romance novels that I know are going to take me no time to get through at all. So I have decided that I am going to give myself a pass and I'm going to allow myself to pick a sixth book for the TBR this month. And book six is going to be Dragonhaven by Robin Hobb. This is book two of the Rain Royal Chronicles. This is uh, the last book that I read in this series and the last book of Robin Hobbs I'd read before I fell out of love or with reading paper and ink books. Um, and I never really got invested in reading them as ebooks. I picked up a Kindle um, at the time that I realised actually I was getting pretty slumpy about reading. And from there, I, I was 
reading romance pretty much non-stop so this is the last book of hers that I have read um and all I know is on all I remember is that the dragons from the first book in the series which I read uh last year they are on a journey to a city that they don't know if it exists or not um but there is a city called Kelsingra which was the home of dragons of the past and they are on their way they are on their journey and i think in this book they make it to kelsingra um but again that's all i remember um there is going to be intrigue and there is going to be some dastardly deeds and there's going to be dragons learning how to be dragons because they're all a bit sickly um and i'm looking forward to it um i've been wanting to reread it for quite a few months now it's one that i've been hoping to be able to get to on my tbr um i tried in march but i didn't quite make it even though i had a really great month um i chose something else when i should have picked this one um but i'm really really looking forward to it and maybe if i can get through this one as well if i if my reading month goes the way that march did um then maybe i can get on and read the next in the series and find out where she took the dragons after they got to Kelsingra. So this is my TBR for the month, one physical book and pretty much everything on my Kindle. Um, so I'll see how I go from here. I'm looking forward to reading it. Uh, what are you reading or planning on reading in April? If you have uh, anything that you're planning, then please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to discuss your choices and mine with you down there. If you like this video then please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already then please subscribe. I really like it uh, if you could subscribe and then you'll get notified when you when I post new videos. I post videos um, pretty much every Monday of the month. I try to put up for a uh, month and I will see you in my next one. Bye!